Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the DJI Mini 3 Pro drone. And in today's video, I'd like to spend a little bit of time explaining one of the intelligent flight modes the drone provides called Focus Track. Now, over the years, DJI spent a lot of time developing artificial intelligence software that they've built into their drones, and they're getting smarter every year. And artificial intelligence is really a feature that allows the drone to autonomously do things. So you've got master shots built in, where you can push a button and have it circle you in an environment. There's a lot of different settings inside of master shots where it can fly away from you, it can loop behind you, and that's one of the artificial intelligence features. But there's also a feature called Focus Track, which is, I think, one of the coolest features the drone provides because it essentially allows the drone through the camera to focus on an object, whether it's a person or a car, and draw this wireframe model of you as you're out there in the field. And then as you walk through a very complex environment, the drone will follow you. And in most cases, it'll avoid obstacles while it's following you. So imagine being out on a skateboard or a bicycle, or if you're a skier, putting the drone up, letting it lock on you as a target, and then skiing down the side of the mountain as the drone follows you and captures some incredible video. That's the kind of thing that artificial intelligence enables, and Focus Track has gone through a couple of iterations, and they're actually very sophisticated nowadays with the way it tracks those objects. So it gets a little bit more complicated, though, because Focus Track essentially has three different modes you can put it in, and the one I'm going to talk about today is Active Track, which is the one I use more often than the other two modes, but that will basically put the drone up in the air, and as I walk through a field, or ride through a field with my bicycle, it'll follow me and I can control exactly what perspective the drone has. So let me talk about the three modes first and then I'll explain what I'm going to show you in a minute because I've got some footage to show you. So the first mode that you can use for focus track is a mode called Spotlight 2.0. Now, Spotlight 2.0 will focus in on you as an object, but still allow the pilot to have control over how far the drone is away and is it in front, is it the side, is it behind. So essentially, you're flying it while the drone is keeping track of that person or that object, and it's keeping that object in the center of the screen. So that's a good one to use. It also enables the crash avoidance to be active when you're flying in that particular mode. So if you're flying in Spotlight and you're in a very crowded environment, it's still going to dodge obstacles or it's going to stop before it runs into a tree. The next mode is called point of interest. Now, point of interest is great because it essentially puts the drone in a circle pattern around you. So if you're walking through a field, you're in the center of the frame and the drone's circling around you. It's automatic, you don't have any control over it, but in that mode, there is no crash avoidance enabled because it doesn't have sensors on the side. So with that mode, you've gotta be very, very careful. The third mode, which is the one that I use most often, is called Active Track 4.0. And that's the latest version of Active Track, and that's the one where you can focus on a person or a bicycle or a car and have it follow you. And there's a couple of ways it can follow you. The first way is Trace, where it's basically following you from behind, and the second is Parallel, where it's off to the side, and as you're moving down the road, it's following you, but it's sideways, so it's flying sideways. So you have to be really careful in that mode, because again, there are no side sensors in the drone. In Trace mode, you have full crash avoidance built in. So what I'm going to show you next is just a really short video of my son on a bicycle driving down a road with the drone following, and I think if you watch this, immediately you'll understand exactly how powerful this feature is, because all of the movies that are out nowadays where you see somebody walking through a field at sunset and the camera angles behind them showing the field that they're walking through, then it spins around the front of them and captures their face and the background behind them, that's being done by drones. And in most cases, there isn't a pilot flying that. They've got it in automatic mode and it's doing that automatically. So what Focus Track will do for you is it allows you to put the drone up, again, if you're a new flyer, and immediately capture some pretty incredible footage. So stay tuned for the example next, and then I'll come back at the end and add a few more comments. So to start off with, the Mini 3 Pro is up in the air, and the target I want to follow is the bicycle. So I've drawn a box around the bicycle. The drone is acquiring that target. You can see that it's adjusting in space. And as he moves down the road, the drone starts to follow him. Now it's catching up, it's going a little bit faster, because it wants to keep him in the center of the frame. And I want you to watch how close that bike stays to the exact center of the frame. And that's pretty incredible, because here comes the light post. It sees that, it's going to move a little to the left to avoid it coming up on a second light post and again it's trying to keep him as close to the middle of the frame as possible and he's changing his speed as he's driving down the road now he's going to make a left into this parking lot watch what happens with the drone it's going to accommodate that left hand turn and follow him into the parking lot and there's a lot of obstacles because i'm pretty low flying along that road and now he's going to make a u-turn in that parking lot watch what the drone does again it's trying to force him into the center of the frame so the drone has to elevate it's going to fly behind him, 
and eventually spin around in the air, nice and smooth, reacquire the target, and then once it starts following again, it's gonna start descending, so it can kind of keep that perspective it had coming up the road. And again, he's varying his speed quite a bit, and the drone's making adjustments, but look how smooth that footage is. Look how perfectly centered he is in the frame. Now, I'm not doing anything here except watching the controls, obviously with my thumbs on the joystick, and watching the drone, because I'm close enough to see it. But I think it's amazing the drone can acquire that target with all the other things around him and focus on that bike and maintain, you know, pretty much a, a camera position that puts him right in the middle of the screen. I hope you enjoyed that example. And again, I'm in active track 4.0 mode in trace mode because in trace mode, I've got complete obstacle avoidance on the drone. If I were in parallel mode, it's kind of a cool feature, but if you use the parallel setting under active track, you gotta be really careful because it can't see things to the side. So only use that if you're in a wide open field. If there are any trees or wires around, don't put it into that mode, stick with trace. But I think this drone, has got so many features built in that are beyond just what we're doing here with Focus Track. But for me, that artificial intelligence in a drone of this size just blows me away because it's not an easy thing to do. It takes a lot of computing power. It takes a really good camera on the front. It takes a lot of programming inside to recognize that particular object and stay focused on that object. To me, it's almost like the Terminator. When you put it up in the air, you're not gonna lose it. When you're running through the woods, it's gonna follow you through the woods. And in most cases, like I'd mentioned, it's gonna dodge trees as it's doing it. So pretty cool feature. Just another thing I wanted to talk about that the DJI Mini 3 Pro provides. And give it a shot. If you've got this drone, get out there, put it in focus track mode, and just have a lot of fun with it. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, as always, stay nerdy. Thank you.